Hey guys, so today I am decked out in my flower crown and my kimono and this beautiful makeup look. I decided to play today with the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. So this is a new palette. I just got it in the mail. Um, three of the shades came to me shadowed actually. Cosmo, which is a pure glitter, and then Twilight and Retrograde, the two glittery duochromes, came to me shadowed. They are very soft, fragile shadows. So a lot of people have had the problem of the shattering in the mail, but thankfully I was able to repress them and I am able to use it today in this tutorial. So I just wanted to review this palette for you guys, do a full face tutorial creating this really pretty halo eye look. I posted this look on my Instagram, full details are on there. But yeah, I really like how this look turned out and I love, love, love this palette. So I'm going to get right into the review right now. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. So I'm just going to start off by doing my brows with the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Okay, so now that we have brows, we're going to prime our eyelids for eyeshadow primer. So I'm going to use my Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Fix. Just going with that as always. Alright, eyelids are primed. I'm going to go into the shade Desert Sand just to set the eyelid primer. I don't know if you can see that, but it kicked up a lot of powder, so these are fairly powdery shadows. Not nearly as powdery as, like, ABH subculture, but, um, I don't know if you can see it in the monitor, but it's actually kicking up powder as I blend it onto my eyes. So yeah, these are very powdery shadows. Not such an issue with the lighter shades, but it might be an issue with the darker shades. Alright, so next I want to go into my transition, so I'm going to use the shade Eden here. Not as powdery as the first shade, Desert Sand, but see how it is pigmented and blends. Decent amount of pigmentation. It's a very like softly colored shade, which you'd expect because it's a transition. So I'm not expecting like a super big punch of pink, but it looks really nice. Okay, so next I'm going to use my um, Glamour Dolls number 10 oil blending brush and go into the shade Amber. Again, not as powdery. And I'm just going to pack this on the outer part of the eye. And then blend it out a little bit. We're just trying to deepen up the crease a little bit. It blends really well and it's very nicely pigmented. So I'm pretty impressed with these shadows so far. They're performing pretty well. I just take a clean blending brush and I like to blend at the edges. This is a trick from Nikki Tutorials. I've decided I actually want to do a halo eye, so I'm just going to take amber again and put that a little bit in the inner corner as well. So next up, I'm going to go into the shade right here called Saffron. And I'm going in with a little bit of a denser brush, so this is going to pick up more pigment. I really want to build up that nice, warm red shade. This is going to be kind of like a fiery eye. So I actually want to build up the warmth a little bit. So now I'm going to go into the shade right here called Blazing, which is really softly with a blending brush. I'm just going to brush that a little bit into the crease, just a tiny, tiny bit. I just want to play up the warmth of this eye look and make it a little more fiery. So, so far I'm really impressed with all the mattes in here. They're blending beautifully. Just like, like you would expect for paying $65 for an eyeshadow palette. I really want to see how the pressed glitter performs, so I'm going to go into the shade Cosmo, and this is going to be the star of the show. We're going to put that right in the center of our eye. So first, I have to lay down some concealer, because I don't want fallout going everywhere. So I'm just going to take some Tarte Shape Tape. Don't want to um, use too much, so I just have a little on the brush here. I'm actually going to use my finger for this part. We don't want it to be um, blended completely out because we need something for the glitter to stick to. And then for the glitter, I know it's not going to pick up with the brush, so I'm just going to use my finger. Be very, very careful. It's super, super loose. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. I am in love with that. We're just going to do the other eye now. Now I'm going to dip into the shade here called Oud. And... I'm using this like small, very precise brush. This is the um, Precision Powder Shadow Brush 61 from Sephora. And just gonna take that right on the edge of the glitter and dust that in there so that the glitter is nice and blended into the eye look. The heads up, Oud is very powdery. As you can see, it's kicking up a lot of powder. I'm barely touching it. So I would recommend going in with a light hand with Oud. All right, 
right, so that is beautiful. We're gonna go back in to do the lower lash line after I do my face. So I got my face primed and I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Pro Filter Foundation. This is the shade 140. So I really love this foundation. Um, I'm just gonna put it on, on camera for you guys. I know it doesn't look like my shade right now, but it does dry down to like the perfect shade for me. So. I'm gonna blend it out with the Fenty Beauty sponge. So I kind of look like a ghost now in the monitor. I really hope it doesn't register like that in the actual video. The foundation is on and it's looking really nice. Make sure you're actually taking your foundation out onto your ears as well so your ears aren't a different color than the rest of your face. Okay, so now I'm going in with the Wet n Wild um, Mega Contour Stick. This is the shade 805, Call Me Maple. I like to use this to just kind of bronze up my forehead, warm everything up a little bit more. So I kind of look like a mess right now, but we are going to blend it out. Okay, very, very nice. We've got some nice definition going on in our face now. Into my shape tape, and since this foundation is so full coverage, I'm going to use a very, very tiny amount. This is what I do whenever I'm wearing a more full coverage foundation. So I just, I've wiped off most of the concealer from the, from the doe foot applicator, and I'm just going to do two little dots. You don't need to draw like a huge triangle or anything. And I'm gonna spot conceal up here. I'm having some stress breakouts right now. Um, we don't need to do the nose. Maybe a little bit on the cheeks. That looks like it. So this is all the concealer we're gonna be putting on today and then we're just gonna go back in with the sponge and blend it out. And then in the process of blending everything out, I've messed up my brows, so we gotta go back in with the spoolie and just kind of cover up the mess we made. Okay, good enough. So that's all looking nice. I want to set my under eyes with some powder. So I'm just gonna go into this um, Tarte Smooth Operator powder. Um, this smells really, really good. It smells kind of like baby powder. Um, I'm not baking today because we're doing a matte foundation, so baking would just make everything kind of look dry. So I'm just going to swirl some of that powder on my under eyes, and then I think we're good for powder. So now for contour, I'm gonna go into my Profusion Contour Kit. Obviously, I love this. I've hit pan on two of the shades in here, and I actually have a backup of this. So I'm going to go into the Cool Tone Brown shade here. This is my favorite, favorite contour. Really, really soft. Um, I think it's even better than the Kat Von D stuff, so love, love, love this contour kit. When I contour, I don't like to bring any of the contour past, like, right about here, like the between my nose and my lips, because that'll just drag your face down, because you want to you want to focus the contour up high and then just blend it out. I'm just applying the contour like this, being very light-handed with it, because if you go in with too much, it's going to be really hard to blend out. Then I take my e.l.f. blending brush, and I'm just going to gently buff that out. Now it doesn't look like we have a harsh line, it just looks nice and softly defined. So now we have cheekbones and we're going to do nose contour next. I go in with that same contour brush. I don't dip it in again. I just use whatever's left. And first I just kind of dust the outside of my nose. I have a really large nose, so I like to contour it down to like a normal size. And taking my contour kit, going back into that cool brown shade. I have a really small defining brush. And this one, I just like to take my time on this, go very light handed. And I like to contour the tip of my nose too, just to shorten it up a little bit. Since my nose is kind of red, I like to neutralize that. So I'm gonna go into the banana shade in the contour palette. Just kind of draw a nice line of banana powder down the middle of my nose. Next up is blush. I like to go in with this e.l.f. Um, duo. This is the Fiji Matte Duo. Really nice blush and bronzer in here. So just go in really lightly. I like to just like feather the brush on the blush on there. I don't like um, going in too harshly because then you'll end up with a really harsh pink flush. 
To be honest, I'm not a huge blush person. I do have rosacea, so I kind of already have pink on my cheeks, so I don't really go in that hard with blush. Okay, so I popped on a little bit of liner. I don't like doing liner on camera. It's just really hard for me, and I kind of make weird faces. So now I'm going to go in with some mascara. This is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Um, really, really thick and fluffy if you want really voluminous lashes. We want to do the under part of our eyeshadow, so um, going back into the Huda palette, and again taking this nice defined brush, I'm going to go back into Oud. Um, hopefully we don't have as much fallout this time. Just lightly dusting that on the under part of my eyes. Ouch. We're going to leave the middle bare because we're doing a kind of halo effect on the bottom as well. So we have Oud on our under eyes, and now I kind of want to do the same halo effect, but instead of using glitter, I'm going to go into the shade next to it called Turkish Delight. Really, really pretty um, red shimmery shade. I'm going to use my finger again. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay. So that's gorgeous. So we kind of want to blend that out a little bit more, so I'm going to go back into my blending brush. Just go back into Eden, and then take that right underneath the under eye just to blend everything out. So that's beautiful. And now we're going to finish it off with some lashes and then highlighter. Okay, so now we're just gonna pop on my favorite lashes ever. These are the Kim Tai Lionhearted Lashes from Cake Face Beauty. Um, they restocked these recently, so if you're wanting to pick them up, now is your chance. Seriously, always out of stock, so I kind of feel bad wearing them in videos, but I just love them so much. They're so beautiful. I forgot my tweezers are upstairs at my vanity, so I'm just using my fingers for this. Whew, so pretty, so pretty. Um, I'm actually gonna go back in to the Huda Beauty palette and just kind of deepen up the red on the upper part because I'm realizing it's kind of not as evenly red here. Okay, yeah, that looks good. Beautiful. And then for inner corner highlight, I'm going to go into the shade here, Angelic. Hopefully that turns out as a nice inner corner highlight. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. I'm actually gonna go over it with a little bit of cashmere, really, really pretty champagne-ish shimmery shade. Okay, and now we're going to finish off our look with some highlighter. I'm using the Urban Decay Afterglow Highlighter. It's in the shade Sin. It's a really, really pretty, um, just kind of like neutral champagne tone. So I have my e.l.f. highlighting brush here. Um, I don't know if that's registering on the monitor. It's super, super pretty. see it in my mirror it's a really really pretty highlighter it's not necessarily as blinding as like Anastasia highlighters now for lipstick I think I'm gonna go into the shade frickin frack from Colourpop this is my favorite 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 um, liquid lipstick from Colourpop I'm constantly wearing this on my Instagram pictures so so pretty okay all right, so that concludes my video on the Huda Beauty palette. I've used this a couple times, and honestly, I really, really do like it. I think the mattes blend beautifully. They perform really well. They're pigmented, but they're buildable enough that they're not, like, super pigmented. Um, they are a little powdery, so you do have to be a little bit more careful with them, but I think that it's a really beautiful palette. And then the shimmers in here are seriously unreal. I think the shimmers are really the star of the palette, and it is very expensive. It's $65, but I do think it's pretty well worth the price. I don't regret buying this at all. The only shade in here that I've noticed doesn't really perform as well as the other ones is the shade here called Amethyst. Really pretty matte purple. I wish it was that beautiful on the eyes, but it's very, very subtle. It is kind of hard to formulate a purple, so I was really expecting a lot out of this, and it just was kind of lackluster. But other than that, the shade next to it, Twilight, really does make up for it. It's a beautiful, beautiful duochrome lavender shade. So overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope you guys liked the eye look I created. Um, yeah, overall, I would definitely recommend the Huda Beauty palette. It's really, really beautiful. Um, yeah, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below. Let me know what you think about the Huda Beauty palette. Are you going to be picking it up or are you going to be passing on it? I'd really love to know your guys' opinions. So yeah, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching my channel and I'll see you next time. If you made it to the very end, I love you.